Hi, in this video I wanted to discuss Alec Baldwin's interview with the paparazzi on a street in Vermont, New England, some days after he shot Helena Hutchins, his cinematographer, on the movie set of Rust in New Mexico. He is joined by his wife Hilaria, originally Hillary, Baldwin. A comment on the site, a little while ago there was a controversy about her apparently faking a Spanish accent to appear more exotic, bilingual and not just American. They have five children together. The question here is how the shooting with live ammunition could have happened on a movie set, in particular involving the cinematographer. And for this we will use body language analysis. Some additional unusual things have surfaced. Inside the shooting victim is the wife of a Clinton associated lawyer involved in the Durham indictment, which connects the shooting to the current events on a global stage. Okay, let's get started. Let's go, let's go. I will. What do you want to know? All right, Ali, what's the current... So he says, let's go. So it's, it's like shooting a movie scene. So that gives immediately the impression that the whole thing is staged. So as he was followed by the paparazzi for days, he could have planned the whole interview. Both of them have cell phones to film the paparazzi as a kind of protection, I suppose. He keeps his hand and phone right in front of him, very still. So it's somewhat a protective, secretive position. What do you want to know? All right, Ali, what's the current state of what's going on with the case? I'm not allowed to make any comments because it's an ongoing investigation. I've been ordered by the sheriff's department in Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. So he first interrupts the interviewer. He says he's not allowed. He's ordered. He uses index finger on the left hand. So it certainly appears congruent with anger. Alec is an excellent actor, so he could have planned the whole thing and appear believable. However, his hand gestures, his voice, his facial expression are congruent. It appears he is angry. It's an active investigation in terms of a woman dying. She was my friend. So a woman dying is very impersonal. So here it appears he's using some distancing language to remove himself from this shooting, from this investigation. But then he says, she was my friend, and the voice breaks, and he points towards himself. So he takes somewhat ownership of the situation in claiming she was his friend. She was my friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. We were a very, very, excuse me, we were a very... <laughs> his wife turns the cell phone on him and approaches him. She forgets the paparazzi. In fact, she becomes a paparazzi herself. Maybe she got close to see if he's tearing up at this emotional moment in order to film him close up or to comfort him. In any case, it looks highly calculated. And it shows another thing. He pushes her away immediately. He doesn't consider her an equal. He doesn't treat her as his wife, more like his nanny or a servant. So both of these things together, she turning the phone on him and he just dismissing her, indicates this is not a normal husband-wife relationship. It looks toxic and narcissistic. Very, you know, well-oiled crew shooting a film together and then this horrible event happened. Now, I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I So a horrible event... And I've been told he's distancing himself again from this event like he's not personally involved. Another thing comes to mind about his wife. So he completely wants to own the stage here. Which is odd that he doesn't want the comfort of another person beside him in this really um, difficult situation. That might indicate that he's not afraid and um, that he really didn't shoot her on purpose. And that he wants to use this occasion to set the record straight. In any case, in the whole interview, which is roughly four minutes... He never claims that he didn't want to shoot her and said he's sorry for the shooting. I can't. I can't. I can't. That's uh, it. And you met what, with, are the, sorry. what are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the, uh, the, the, the um, I'm afraid I forget her name at the moment, but you met with her family? Uh, in the Helena. Day. Yes, her I name is her Helena. Her... If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you should <laughs> you know, know her name. name. Her name is Helena. So here we see exhaustion and here she is really angry showing her teeth. That's her moment. She comes out. She's a little bully in the safety and wake of the big bully. She gets back at the paparazzi. Helena Hutchins. I met with her husband, Matthew, and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that meeting go? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize that. They're, 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 they're you, mortified. You guys, you, guys, you know what? Do, no we, details. But, but do, do me a favor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. <laughs> now he's putting her to her place again. He's dismissing her. He wants to own the stage here despite the gravity of the situation. 
Well, I appreciate that he was probably very upset. The, 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 the guy is overwhelmed with grief. This is something that, that you know, there are incidental accidents uh, uh, on film sets. <laughs> incidental accidents, so he takes no responsibility. He's distancing himself again, but he touches his nose. So that could be considered a sign of lying. Essentially, he's covering his mouth. He's ashamed to lie openly. He's shushing himself for telling the untruth. Uh, from time to time, but nothing like this. This is a one in a trillion episode. It's a one in a trillion episode. One in a trillion. Again, it's also a kind of distancing. It's just considered a very unlikely event. And he's a victim of this freak accident. And so he is in shock, he has a nine-year-old son. So here his voice was a bit breaking, so all of this stuff now seems so congruent. So he feels really upset and, and about this event and also that he's grieving. You know, we are you know, in constant contact with him because we're very worried about his family and his, his kid. And so that seems authentic. She changes the position. She's essentially joining the paparazzi now. But as I said, we're, we're, we're eagerly awaiting for the sheriff's department to tell us what their investigation has yielded. Again, asking for the sheriff's report. He's he's a guy who knows it all. He was right there. It's not up to him. It's about the sheriff's investigation. What else do you have? Would you ever work on another film set that involves uh, firearms of that nature? I couldn't answer that question. I, I, I really don't have any. I now she joins him again and she's essentially anticipating how he might react, actually imitating him. So now they're becoming a team um, or she's putting herself in the spotlight. It looks like, you know, she was his biggest fan, like a groupie. So they have a very unequal status. He's a famous actor and she's just a yoga instructor. I have no sense of it at all. I do know that an ongoing effort to limit the use of firearms in, on film sets is something I'm extremely interested in. Yeah, I'm aware of you. But remember... <laughs> now he shows himself as a good guy trying to limit the firearms on a set. Something that I think is important, and that is how many built bullets have been fired in films and TV shows in the last seven or five years? This is America. How many bullets have gone off in movies, firearms, and on film sets is something I'm extremely interested in. Yeah. So now it's a bit about the Second Amendment discussion in the US. So he makes a small contribution to the disarming of the public. I'm aware of you, but remember something that I think is important, and that is how many built bullets have been fired in films and TV shows in the last seven or five years? This is America. So what has to happen now is we have to realize that when it does go wrong, and it's this horrible catastrophic thing, some new measures have to take place. Rubber guns, plastic guns, no live, no real armaments on the That's not for me to decide. It's urgent. It's urgent that you understand I'm not an expert in this field. Again, so if he's not an expert after having shot so many movies, who is the expert? Again, he's distancing himself. Other people have to decide. So whatever other people decide is the best way to go in terms of protecting people's safety on film sets. I'm all in favor of it. So he was not involved in the shooting, essentially. It's other people who make the decisions. He's a victim. I will cooperate that, with that in any way that I can. Do you have any further projects in the works at the moment, or is everything on hold? No, no, that, that's right irrelevant now. to what we're talking about. Yeah, do you think so he does look agitated, he does look tired, he does look frustrated. So there's some authenticity, which is hard to fake. Production will start up again on No, that? I doubt it. Was there anything else? Why Vermont, Alex? Is... Because yeah, that's we a, just no, 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 that's a person. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. He has the chin thrust. She's again angry. She's a little bully. Anything else? Okay. okay. So just do me a favor, you know what? My kids are in the car crying. Because you guys are following me, no. As a courtesy to you, I can't... <laughs> it's a little bully completing his sentences, trying to steal a bit of his spotlight, his fame. To talk to, I'm not allowed to comment on the investigation. I talk to the cops every day. I talk to them every day to find out. They know where you are. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm cooperating with them, of course. So my point is, is that... Is it, I'm just asking, we sat down as a courtesy now to talk to you. Now, please, would you just stop following us for the rest of it? Just, just leave us Just go home. We gave go you everything home. we could Thank you. Give you okay? Thank you. Thank you. Condolences. Thank, Thank you. you. Now turn it off. Now turn it off. Here's a little bully is rubbing it in. A fine little threat in the wake of the big bully. So some aspects seem uh, realistic, uh, authentic, some congruency between Alex's behavior and, and his voice. He seems really frustrated, grieving, agitated. On the other hand, we have these parts where he distances himself, where he touches his nose, where he sets the whole thing up like a movie shooting in the very beginning. 
Then also mood changes quite rapidly. He's agitated in the beginning and then he gets much calmer towards the end. And then the mood changes again when he interacts with his wife. So that uh, reminds me a bit of the fake incident involving Chassis uh, Smollett. And I did a video on him as well a while ago, which might indicate that the whole thing was prepared and that it just looks so authentic because he's an excellent actor. I mean, what we can certainly say for sure, we see the toxic dynamics between him and his wife. He is a narcissistic bully who does not address her by her name. He dismisses her like she is his nanny or some servant. And she is like his groupie, the paparazzi, the little bully, rubbing things in and imitating him. Okay, just horrible. Okay, I hope you liked this video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.